Hello all. Today I am making something else. I am making these clothespin holders. Um, let's see, I am making some of these are going to be for the refrigerator. I am going to put, where did my magnet go? I am going to glue some of this magnet on the back. It's sticky, but it's probably not sticky enough and it's kind of bent, so um, it comes like this. So I would take and glue it. I'd cut it down to fit because it obviously is a little bit too wide. Cut it down to fit and I would glue it with some kind of glue. Um, you don't have to, but personally I would to go on the refrigerator for a magnet. And that type, I would take and do an embellishment of a flower and put it on the refrigerator and it's a, a pin. And this, remember this is my um, dryer sheet flowers. So the, that's a cute embellishment, really cute. and. I just took my scrap paper and cut it to size to fit on top. I Mod Podged it on there and then I'm going to put a clear coat of Mod Podge over it. And I'm going to show you how I attached one. You can embellish, it, embellish them with so many different things. Just anything you want. You can cut out shapes. You don't have to embellish them at all. Uh, so how I started was I took my scrap paper and you can see this has some design right here more so than down here so when I put it on I'm gonna put the design up here so that whatever embellishment I put up there will be covered and I'll have still some design right here so something just to plan you could do them plain colors just all kinds so I'm gonna just take and put again a uh, a thin coat of Mod Podge because you don't want it bubbling and a lot of it squeezing out. So I have that thin coated. These are really easy to do. And I'm just going to line it up on here and press it down. You have a, you have a little bit of time to get it on here right. And let's see. You could paint the clothespin first if you wanted. I found these clothespins, they're reasonable, but I found these at the thrift store. I always go into the thrift store and look and see what I can find. So you could paint them a different color. Uh, you could actually just even paint them and then Mod Podge over them and don't even use the paper. So that's on there and this is going to dry. And then I want to show you. Uh, this one I did earlier, and it's it's Mod Podged on there. And see, so you could put a butterfly on there. These I found at the thrift store again. Um, just always go look at scan everything. And this other one I put a bling on it, and I'm sorry I couldn't find my other bling. I don't know where it's at. I had some really cute bling pieces that were clear, and they'd be really cute, but I just don't know where it's at at the moment. So. First, to glue them on, and you can Mod Podge them, I use the gloss. The gloss, you could use matte, I have that one also. Uh, and like this one, I'll go over the top a few times and put the gloss on there before I glue on my flower. And that looks really cute. And I, these, these right here, I'm just going to use for, uh, let my kids use them for um, closing up packages like potato chips and stuff. Just something simple to make really good gifts. Very reasonable. Okay, so I found my pink bling fuchsia color. And this one, I already put a coat of the Dimensional Magic Mod Podge. And that is this one. And they're slanted, so let me tell you. Um, only put on let me show you. It will it will it'll run down. So this one, I'm I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna put it on this one because this one I might not even put an embellishment on. Um, just take and put a coat on here. If you get any bubbles, just take and pop them with a pin. Just make sure all your edges and everything are covered. Otherwise, you'll get some it peeling up or something. Don't shake this bottle because it will get a lot of air in it. So, there's that one. 
and this you'll just let it set it somewhere where nobody's going to get into it. I don't know if I could do my camera to show you. There's, it's like resin. Uh, you, I can see a bubble right there. I'll get it with a pin, a straight pin. Um, uh, you can't see it. There is a nice mounded, like resin epoxy on top, and it says on the bottle non-toxic. So, um, does it say on the bottle? Um, doesn't say right there. So you'd have to read it or contact the company. Um, but it's just a lot easier to use than with the resin. I haven't. I don't. I don't use the resin very often. This one doesn't stink or anything. It's nice. Uh, so this one I probably will just leave just like this. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. It's gonna dry just beautiful. And you can do. You can put names on there. You can stamp them. Uh, so I have two of them with my dimensional Mod Podge and then I'm gonna do two of them for magnets for the refrigerator there's that one and this one is my favorite with the dryer sheet uh, flower it hardly cost me anything to do these because I found everything at the thrift store except for the dryer sheets are recycled um, that I found at the thrift store and the bling I bought but I like to, I just save all the stuff and I use it up like crazy. But these would make a cute gift. And if you wanted to give them as a gift, these are kind of a, I just wanted to show you a whole different array of what's going on. But if you wanted to give them as a gift, I would keep them all like just rhinestones or butterflies or just these flowers and do the same thing and put them on a, on a card, like a, a cardboard card, uh, clip them on there they would be really cute they would make a really nice gift so there are some easy clothespin ideas just for all sorts of things i hope you have fun making these have a great day bye bye